But first at 530, thieves targeting copper end up doing some serious damage. Copper piping gets stolen from two local abandoned apartment buildings, but it's now created a health hazard and a much bigger repair cost for taxpayers. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estevan joins us now live with the details that are new at 530. Well, that's right. The cost isn't even comparable. Taxpayers now on the hook after a copper crook got off with pennies and piping. Covered in plastic, the danger signs call attention to asbestos abatement underway in Fall River's Oak Village. These two buildings run by the Housing Authority were slated to be demolished at a minimal cost to the city until... Uh, somebody broke into the boiler rooms and in stealing the copper pipe from around the boilers, mm -hmm. shook the pipes enough that the insulation in the attic spaces broke apart and contaminated the attic spaces. Criminals looking to make some quick cash are now costing you some big bucks. It added about $78,000 to the overall cost of the demolition. So we wanted to know just how much the copper crooks got away with. Yeah, I would imagine seeing how much was taken that they maybe got three four dollars worth of copper pipe out of this so unfortunately four dollars three or four dollars costing the city yard. seventy thousand yep wow. yep not only did the crime add to the cost but we are also told it added about 30 yeah. days to the project housing authority officials tell us they do see a trend of copper piping thefts from abandoned buildings throughout the city and in case you're wondering, the only people exposed to the asbestos would be the ones that stole the piping. The city says they'll be more than happy if those individuals come forward. Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.